Hello and Borida to Club 100's race day coverage from round five of our heavyweight sprints championship from the picturesque and impressive Glanny Gore Carlin facility in North Wales. Although the weather for late June is pretty poor, I have to confess it threatened rain all morning and it's carried out that threat this afternoon. But that's racing as they say, we don't quit in Club 100, we just crack on. After four rounds, it's been all about Joe Holmes. He has won every final up until about half an hour ago when James Taylor, back from the USA, beat him to the pre-air final victory. And it was really a two-horse race as Harrison Darville finishing third was over 10 seconds further back. So lap times from the pre-air final set the grid for this air final. No surprise then to see James Taylor and Joe Holmes on the front row. Holmes is the championship leader, of course, and heading for the championship, I think. Harrison Darville, Christopher Murray on row two, Stuart Kirk and Mark Ridout on row three, Mike Bodner, Mike Townley on row four, Shane O'Neill and Mark Turner round out the top ten. And it's a 26-cart field. We ride on board with Harrison Darville. We're on the bumper here of James Taylor. Looking for the green flag. Taylor complaining about an overlap there from Joe Holmes, but he's got the lead in the whole shot into turn one. And looks as though Darvel's trying to get past Holmes as they go down the dragon straight. Mike Townley squeezed between Mike Bodner and Chris Murray on the left there. Into the right hander. And Holmes has got back ahead of Harrison Darvel. Taylor runs wide and Jones is who through to the lead, is he? They're side by side into Spoon. And indeed, Holmes has hit the front early. And it looks as though Darvel's just lost out to Stuart Kirk as well as this race settles down. Down a carousel for the first time. And it's Holmes, Taylor, Stuart Kirk, Harrison Darvel, Mike Bodner. That looks like Simon Lloyd all crossed up. Going into carousel. He's well up in the championship. Ballinger out of the on the grass on the outside. And Lenny Wood spun out and not happy to the infield on the inside. So we're coming round to finish the first lap. We're going downhill. Cart number two is Tim Hill looking to find a way by. He's well up in the championship and he needs to make progress quickly. Fairly anonymous in the pre-air final and with work to do. So lap one is over. It's an 11 lap final. Hill down the inside, a long way back and through on Mike Townley. But runs deep into the corner and, and everything he gains, he loses. Through lack of momentum off the corner. So back on board with Townley. You're looking at the back of the hill and Hill's caught the inside curb. Now we saw that in the elite class. Stuart Martin caught that curb in the wet and it spun him out and it's done exactly the same thing to Tim Hill. Darville behind Chris Murray. There's Bodner in fourth place. There's Murray under pressure from Darville. Over fifth. Everybody streaming through the corners. Trying to get the thing turned. Cart 13 is Nick Butler. Side by side with 19, Ben Daly. 16 is Ben Bennyworth. One of the heavier drivers, probably at an advantage in these conditions. Same for Stuart Kirk, this is the highest he's run. Third place at the moment. And I think a lot of that has got to do with, of course, his driving ability, but also the fact that he is one of the heavier drivers, gets better purchase, better traction in these conditions. So Harrison Darville down in sixth place, looking at the back of Chris Murray, who's gone chasing after Mike Bodner. Conditions fairly horrible here this afternoon at Glanny Gore. I don't think the cameras quite do the rain the justice it deserves, although I think it has eased off a little. Martin Gurnett in cart 53 ahead of Jason Bradbury. In cart 24, that's a fight for 13th place. Bradbury trying to go around the outside. This is going to be last of the late breakers down a carousel, and Bradbury's gone a long way in. All the way in, and is using the grass. And he's lost out to half a dozen drivers. That's James Browning, and Browning was down in 20th place, so that was a bit of a gaff there from Jason Bradbury. Browning's gone through on Roger Davis, the pair run through from the B final trying to make progress from the back of the field well we've started lap 4 I can tell you race leader, leader James Holmes is advantages 1.7 seconds over James Taylor I fear there won't be a repeat of the pre-air final it looks as though Holmes has got himself hooked up in this one 1.7 seconds clear 
This home's going into spoon. And we're close up with the steering wheel here. I think we're on board there with James Browning. Back on board with Roger Davis. Cart 19, Ben Daly looking for a way past Bennyworth. Davis on his bumper. And on the grass, and Bradbury's gone through. So there's one spot picked up by Jason after his gaff here on the previous lap. Car 28, Rob Moore, bright and easy to see. 29 is uh, Dave Whitehouse. They're fighting over 21st and 22nd position. And Joe Holmes goes through 2.3 seconds clear of uh, James Taylor, so that's another half second taken out of James on that last lap. I think he's settling into second place. Stuart Kirk might have designs on that, running in third place behind him. So Holmes, Taylor, Kirk in cart number eight. Mike Bodner comfortable in fourth place. Murray, Harrison Darvel coming back to him. Fighting over fifth. Mark Ridout in seventh. Simon Lloyd, Shane O'Neill has run up from the back of the field. In ninth place, Mike Townley in tenth. Darvel looking for a way by now on Chris Murray. They've been in and around each other since the start. Murray running wide there. And then Darvel loses grip. So everybody on the limit. And the sewing at the wheel. Steering to the lock stops and back. Mark Ridd out in card 81 ahead of Simon Lloyd as they sweep down to the bottom of the circuit. So Ridd out up to seventh. Board here with James Browning. I think that's Bennyworth that's just gone through. But he's got the position back and he's back behind Martin Gurnett now. And Lloyd is back through on Mark Riddell. So back to seventh for Simon. Well up in the championship. Important points here. Needs a few more spots. He's really in the chase for second in the championship. So we're through half distance. Taylor has now pegged Joe Holmes at two seconds. Darville still trying to find a way to get back on terms and through past Chris Murray. Looks to the inside into compression. Got to be careful not to take out the guy ahead of him. It'll be an exclusion if he does. And not making much impression on Mike Bodner, who's having a comfortable run in fourth place. But he's not able to make any progress into Stuart Kirk in third. This looks like the, the main battle on the circuit at the moment. Harrison Darvel trying to find a way past Chris Murray. Back on board with Browning, looking to the inside of Martin Gurnett. This is the fight now for 12th place. Stuart Kirk has closed in on second place, James Taylor. There's a few battles uh, warming up here towards the finish. How far will Harrison dare go in to gain a little bit of time on Chris Murray? And I can see Simon Lloyd is closing in here. So we may have a three-way fight between Murray, Darville and Lloyd for fifth place before the finish. Martin Gurnett, I think, is caught up with... Now, who's that? that Matthew Liston? Not sure. Browning's gone through. All a bit busy in the midfield. Whoa, and 36 has gone round. Matthew Liston has been spun out. That could be a penalty for someone. 16 is Ben Bennyworth. All that he's gained, he's lost. He slides back and into a fight with Darren Townsley. So there's your race leader. Looking comfortable as you can in these conditions. Taylor under pressure from Kirk. Comfortable Mike Bodner in fourth place, cart 65. You're looking back now for the battle for fifth place. Chris Murray 72, Harrison Darville 56 and Simon Lloyd. And Mark Ridout is not out of this fight just yet. Further back, Jason Bradbury down the inside of cart number 13. 
is Nick Butler, and that's for about 13th place. And it's side by side now. Simon Lloyd's got ahead of Harrison Darville. And is already looking for a way past Chris Murray. There's a little bit of contact there. Well, Darville's back on his bumper. Murray's got a, a little bit of a margin, half a cart length or so, and Ridout's in there. It's a four-way fight here for fifth place. And this one looks set to run to the finish. Darville closing in, looking for a way by. Taylor still under pressure, but holding Stuart Kirk at a few cart lengths. Your race leader, Joe Holmes, is heading for victory if he can keep it on the island. Taylor take a look over his shoulder. And up ahead, Murray under pressure now from Lloyd. Darvel looking for a way by. The conditions haven't been great, but this is entertaining racing despite them. Not far from the finish now. Joe Holmes' lead is four and a half seconds on the James Taylor Stuart Kirk battle. Mike Bodner comfortable, 8.7 8 seconds off the lead. The real fight is over fifth place. Murray, Lloyd, Darville, Ridout. Down at the bottom of the circuit. Darville crossed up, looking to sneak a move in. Maybe he's into the last corner. Pushing Lloyd on. Trying to push him into a mistake. Murray ran wide there. You can hear him spinning up the rear wheels. They're on the limit. On to the penultimate lap. Will Ridout get a run on Harrison Darville? As Darville has lost a little bit of ground and Ridout looks to the inside into the right hander and he's through. He's got to get it turned. Chance for Darville maybe. Inside into spin. Well, he had to think about it. But Ridout's on his limit. So Darville would risk punting him off into the corner if he threw it down the inside. Not quite the conditions for that. You're looking for a mistake and Ridout has moved a couple of cart lengths clear. And now looking for grip on the outside of the circuit. Sliding it through, drifting it through the corner. Gotta be careful with the curbs. Lloyd's chanced his arm and got down the inside of Chris Murray. But Murray comes straight back at him into compression. Gets it turned. Rid out onto his bumper. Darvel in the mix again, and they're back together again. And they're coming through to start their final lap this time. The race leader's already gone through. He's five seconds clear of James Taylor. Taylor has got Stuart Kirk on his bumper, so the podium's not settled just yet. Bodner is comfortable in fourth place, 8.8 .8 seconds behind the race leader. There's Bodner. He's had a quiet race. He's looked into that one, I think. And it's beginning to rain again. You can see the rain's coming in sideways at the top of the hill. So it's Murray, Lloyd, Ridout, Darville. Oh, you can hear the, the rain on the camera there. It's piddling down once again at Glanny Gore. Your race leader is already closing in on his fifth win of the season and his ninth final win of the season as well. It's just a matter of time before we crown him. Heavyweight champion 2016, I think. But here we go, battle for fifth place is still on. Taylor's coming through in second ahead of Stuart Kirk. Mike Bodner in fourth, he's the battle for fifth place. It's three wide into the last couple of corners. Murray, Darvel round the outside of Lloyd and Ridout. Murray's run wide, it's a drag race to the line that Harrison Darvel's gonna win to take fifth place. So third place then goes to not only uh, uh, getting a trophy for third, but picking up the highest finishing super heavyweight driver. He's been on the scales, I hope he won't mind me saying he weighs in at a, a very nimble 104 kilos. And he's finished third. Congratulations. Come and get your two trophies. Stuart Kirk. <laughs> well done, Stuart. You get to stand on the podium proper as well, mate. Uh, our runner-up then today won the pre-final. A runner-up then in the main final. Congratulations, driver 99, James Taylor. There's no stopping this boy. Five in a row now. 
Five of these, so you're going to have room in the house, guys. Where are you? Where are they? You got room in the house for these? No, the old man's saying no. But there you go. Uh, he's got his fifth one in a row. I don't think there's much stopping this boy this season. Congratulations. Winning Glenny Gores in the heavyweight class. Driver 69, Joe Holmes. Good, and guys, big smiles for the camera, please. Fisher photographer uh, photos.